Hey guys, this is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and today I wanted to go over how to create glass in Arnold. This is using Maya 2018. All right, so glass, the mystery. Uh, glass is beautiful, but actually very hard to capture because it's so intricate. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. We're going to be using the AI Arnold standard. So let's go ahead and assign a new material and select a AI standard surface. The first thing you're going to see, and I'm going to go ahead and activate this. Right now, we are creating glass, and so far, we don't have very much. Now, glass actually doesn't have any weight, and it doesn't have any color as well. So let's go ahead and change those to zero. Glass is very reflective. That's why we like it so much. So the specularity we're going to leave as is, and the magic happens is in transmission. So let's go ahead and open up transmission and increase our weight. And right away, you can see the effect. Now to make sure that this is acting predictably, let's go ahead and select our geometry. Let's go to our geo shape and open up Arnold to make sure opaque is off. This is gonna help with the transparency as well. The way we can control the glass and how strong it is, let's zoom in, is based on the weight. So I increase the weight all the way to one and you can see that it is pretty clear. Now this is very different than op opacity. This is actually based on uh, true scattering. That means the light actually goes through the geometry and scatters the background. So that's why we get this effect. It is very different than, let's say, for example, opacity, which can be found under geometry. If I go ahead and reduce this to zero, it will disappear. If you want to create alpha channels, for example, where it's going to be transparent, you have to use opacity. But right now we are going to create glass, so we're going to be using transmission. If you wanted to make clear glass, you might want to re reduce your specularity roughness to zero so you can see right through it but most much most of the glass has a little bit of roughness on it um, so it's a little bit easier to see now it is also controlled by the IRR and IOR stands for index of refractions and refractions is what's happening right here which is the light is actually bending to give us give us a shape now 1.52 is a is at, is normal and accurate for glass as well as water so you're more than welcome to keep that there but if you wanted to kind of mess around with the IOR you can I'm going to go ahead and undo that okay going back to transmission this is the space where you can change uh, color so if you wanted to make uh, like let's say stained glass windows or maybe even the headlights or the brake lights of your car, you can change it to red. Um, if you wanted to do something a little bit more orangey, you can. Let's go ahead and move forward. Right click, assign existing material. Let's go ahead and go to our glass shader and plug that one in. This one uh, is a, activate my wireframe, it's going to be hard to see because they're going to start disappearing. I'm going to go ahead and make this thicker. And you can see right away that what type of effect it has. The refraction is working really well. Uh, we are getting a very glass looking object and it's pretty cool actually. So again, if you wanted to go in and rough up the texture a little bit, you can. So then that way you get a little bit of that frosted glass. And this is based on the specularity. All right, let's see what this glass looks like. We're going to go ahead, right click, assign existing material. Let's take a look at the glass shader. Let's go ahead and press play. And this is where the magic really happens is on things like this, where the glass, it picks up the glass geometry really well. It re refracts really well and everything uh, looks well like glass. And finally, let's take a look at it with the Buddha. And right away, you can see how beautiful this glass Buddha is. It's uh, pretty amazing how it reacts with refractions and the reflections and how everything works together. Now I wanted to also show you is the magic of textures. Now the magic happens when we plug in a map for scratches, for example. It's very rare that glass is perfect, so we actually do want to add maps such as dirt and scratches, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like. So again, this is based on transmission. I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the weight. I'm going to go to file, I'm going to click on the little folder and I already have a texture from textures.com. It's called scratch steel. I just wanted this, this scratches from it and you're not going to see much of an effect because what we have to do is scroll down in our file and select alpha is luminance and then we'll be able to see the scratches. Now the issue is that this box is not UV mapped, so that's why it's pixelated. If I had UV mapped it like uh, like I was so probably should have, it would probably give you a better result. But let's take a look out at the one that is a little bit better. So you can see that we're able to see through the object except for the scratches. To really push this, let's go ahead and change the color. 
go to file again click on this little folder click on metallic texture and don't forget to turn on alpha is luminance again this is under color balance alpha is luminance and we can see the effect right away where you can see through the glass except where the scratches are which is exactly what we want if you want to see something fun go under effects and invert it and now we have glass that's actually dark and then you can see through the other area so what it did is invert the map so I thought that's kind of interesting I just wanted to show you that and if you want to make your scratches white we can always go back to our base color and go ahead and increase it to our weight and our color to white and you can see that it's turning white now I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit let's not make it too white so let's take a look at the render settings so we don't get so much noise let's go ahead and activate our render settings and this is based on our Arnold renderer now we do want to increase this to 4 probably diffuse to 4 specularity to 4 and transmission to 4 we don't have any subsurface so we're gonna leave it as is this is going to increase our render time significantly so be prepared for that as long as you get those pretty good values you should be okay all right, everybody, that's a quick tutorial on how to create glass. Hopefully that helps you understand transmission a little bit better. I always recommend that you take a look at uh, reference so you can get accurate uh, perception of what glass looks like. Thank you so much for your support. Again, you can download this file at academicphoenixplus.com. Uh, the Buddha is from Stanford Scan, so please don't think that I modeled it. Don't forget to share this with your friends and uh, social media. Also, like my videos if you think they were helpful. Don't forget to leave comments at the bottom. I'm always paying attention and always curious what you have to say. If you have any suggestions or comments, feel free to make them. And I will see you next time.